Hi, I'm going to drive you through AMR, AMR printer management software. Uh, we have four steps here. The first one is billing, how to get your meter readings and uh, make your billing. The uh, second one is uh, about toner alarms, toner supplies. Third one is how to be proactive on maintenance and a few bunch of other features. So uh, let's jump ahead into the uh, how it works. The Mm, the software uh, works first with a with so-called DCA or driver. It's uh, something that you, a small piece of software you install in your client's software, in your client's uh, network. And that will gather information from all your printers and send it over to the cloud. Okay, so then uh, you can log in just from any uh, web browser and you will get that data for free. Only your, only your data, of course. Uh, before we get into a demo, we have a bunch of printers uh, so you can play around with it. Uh, let's give an have an overview of the extra features you will have and you can check afterwards. So first uh, one will be customization of the logo. We have a very fast way to, um, so you can, your clients can get a, an order or um, a ticket with a QR scanning a QR code. We have APIs also for integration with your um, ERP software. We have a non-cloud solution, a very close uh, solution for uh, safety environments. We also have a um, website for end users so they can see only their printers. A AMR Cube is a small piece of hardware, so you can, uh, instead of installing software, you can have a, a basic uh, hardware there. We have Telegram integration and other kind of integration, so we are available for your, um, integrate with your software, with your system, with your workflow. Okay, so let's go back into the uh, demo. So here is uh, meters, you will see are your printers here. So you have a client code, uh, date, serial, alias, print model, black and white color counters. You can also add some uh, A3 color and scan counters if you want to in the list. Here you have a, a bunch of buttons to edit. Uh, you can see the history, you can see um, toner um, consumable status. You can edit the printer here, add some details. You can play around with it a little bit, no problem. And, but what we're looking for now is to export this into our ERP. So you can hit uh, export down here, uh, the button below, or you can also go into reports. And we have a, a few files here to you to export. So uh, this is an export file to ERP. This is meaning that we can customize a file just for your uh, ERP. Uh, and then you can just click, you don't have to copy paste or anything. You just click, download, and you will get the data into your system. We have a bunch of files here for uh, Excel. You can download it and check it out. <clears throat> and I want to point out one of the reports here. If you don't have a specific billing software for printers so that can manage counters and counter difference you can um, get this one here so you can just select a date from a date to so we have a, a difference from the uh, this month hit download and we go in here we hit open here okay so here you have all your printers with uh, from to date, because we don't have mm, readings from the first, we have uh, until 21st here. And this is the counter, it was in the first date, this is the counter of the last date, uh, this is the difference, okay? So this is the one you want to point out, you want to uh, get into your billing, okay? So the difference on black and white counter, the difference on color counter and so on. You have, you have here A3 and color and scanners. So those are the counters for you to export and to build directly into your system. So uh, this is billing. We're going into uh, toner alarms here. Toner alarms are 
Mm, you will receive tonal alarms when the, when the toner goes below 20% by default. And here you have the alarm. So you have the date, you have a client code, serial number, and details here. And then we go and jump into this, uh, let's say we go into this one and we edit. So here we have the information of the printer and here we have the comments, any, any comments we want to add to this particular event. We have here the ERP number and here's the important thing, the status. When we hit here done, it means it's done. You have, uh, let's say we send the technician over, we might put it in progress. Meanwhile, uh, we have this feedback that it's solved, or we can just put it as uh, solved uh, and, and save. And here you have a history of the last uh, reading, so you have uh, an idea of when the toner went down and so on. So the alarm came on 26 uh, in the morning, and here we have on the 26 that it already went to 15%. Okay? So let's close on that. The same procedure applies for any maintenance alarms. So you will receive, you will receive maintenance alarms from uh, all your um, from all your printers. So you will uh, check before your clients know. You will see all the alarms in here. Okay. So um, here we have the same procedure, you can add some comments, you can add some uh, tracking number here, you hit done and it's um, and, and then you can save. Okay, so this is mainly uh, meters for billing, we have tunnel alarms, we have maintenance alarms and we have reports. If this is something that interesting, is interesting for you, you can do one thing right away. You can go to install a new printer, download the software, install the software in your network, get your printers into the system, you will be, you will be asked for a, a license. That license you have to type is demo, D-E-M-O. Okay, just bear in mind that all printers you do under demo license will come up here and will be, will be available for anyone looking at this site. So, uh, just bear in mind that. If you want a private license, if you want something just for you, you can drop us a message here on support. You can send us a WhatsApp or email. If we are available, we will, this will be faster. If not, you can send an email and you can ask us for a demo license, a trial license. We give you a 30 days trial license and from there you can start your uh, installation with your clients or with your network. And from there, uh, you, can, you can jump into a, a premium license or whatever you like to. You have the pricing here. You have some questions and ask you, some frequent, frequently asked questions here. So thanks for watching and keep in touch.